What's up guys, Norbo Games here with the next part of Pokemon Let's Play Fire Red. And we are on the road to Cerulean City, Route 4, we've just come through Mount Moon, and without further ado, let's get on with this. So, here we are, Route 4. There, right there, these two guys right here are the Mega Punch Mega Kick trainers. Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Uh, they'll teach one Pokemon that move only once, so... As I said in the previous episode, or was it the episode before, one of them, uh, I will not be using these two guys right now. I'll probably come back later when a strong normal type move will be really helpful. Of course, to do that, we will need Fly, um, or Surf. Probably Fly. You get it earlier. Okay, this is... Um, oh, let's just find out. Raw! TM05. Raw. Useless move, never going to use the TM. Oh, repels effect war off. Well, that's good. So down here, you can catch some new Pokemon, Ekans and Sandshrew, if I remember correctly. Also, some Pikachus. Um, if that's still true. Rattata. Catch Rattata's everywhere, though. Regardless of um, what route it is. Speed roll. It really doesn't matter. Anyway. I'll just undershock this spear off for some quick experience and we will head into Cerulean City for the first time. However, now I've jumped over that little ledge to get into this patch of grass, we cannot get back up there. As I will show you right now. There. We cannot get back above this ledge because it is sealed off by a fence and some water. And here we are at Cerulean City. So we better get the Pokemon Center because as we just noticed Tesla is low on health and there's no point using a potion if we can use a Pokemon Center because potions cost money and Pokemon Centers don't. So heal me up, heal me up and we will get going. So as I said this episode we are going to take on Dickface and Nugget Bridge. Um, for those of you who are new to my videos Dickface is Gary. His name is Gary but I'm referring to him as Dickface for the purposes of amusement and that's what I realized I should have named him. Anywho, heading into the mart. I just want to check what we've got because it also tells you when you want to buy stuff. We have 10 potions, no super potions. Uh, I'll buy two super potions. You never know when they're going to come in handy. Everything else I'll leave. Okay, moving on. And we're going up to Nugget Bridge. That's our next priority. This is the bike shop. We'll be coming back here later. Once we get to Vermilion City, we'll be coming back to go into the bike shop. This is the guy's house that teaches you about badges and what they do. So if you don't know what all the badges do, this is the place to find out. And over here, we've got the house that's being guarded by the police because it's been a robbery. But we'll deal with that later too. So here we go. I like to get central for this and... Yo, Nori! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon! Here, let me see what you caught, Nori! And here we go, the next fight with Dickface. He's always so smug, and yet he hasn't beat us yet. No, he didn't. He didn't beat us. He beat me in that test one I did, but he hasn't actually beat me. <laughs> So I'm hoping that uh, Tesla will be good enough to take on this Pidgeotto, even though that quick attack did. Oh my god! That is a lot of damage! Well, that's gonna screw us. Oh no wait, I still have that revive from Mount Moon. We may not be out of this yet. I can't believe that has just happened. I can't believe Tesla just got knocked out like that. Oh well, at least this isn't Nuzlocke, because that would have scared the crap out of me. But, of course, now we know what he's going to send out next, don't we? Ooh, bite. Good Dark-type move. You don't get a hell of a lot of Dark-type moves in this game, so... Take Bite when you get the opportunity. I'm going to have it instead of Tackle. Normal type, not any super effective. Bite takes on Psychic types. As I suspected, Bulbasaur. Thankfully we have Dahlia to take on his grass type. See, that's the other reason I don't like catching Pidgeys, is because he has a Pidgey, and it makes me feel like I'm trying to copy him, but I'm not. No. So, a Spearow, not what he has. 
that you don't have to feel crap about it. Sleep powder? Isn't that like 80 accuracy? There's a 20% chance that won't hit and every single time it'll hit you. Let's see how much damage. Oh man, that's going to cause some critical damage in a little while. See, this battle is always challenging unless you have something that can counter every single one of his Pokemon and I thought we did. I really did. I mean, Peck should knock him out. But I really thought we had Tesla to counter his Pidgeotto and that thing just ripped buttocks. Of course, um, Pidgeotto is a hacked Pidgeotto because it's level 17 and Pidgey doesn't evolve to level 18. So he's clearly been doing some tampering with the game's code to get that. See, bite takes on all psychic types. No, even stab. You know, it doesn't get extra damage because of it. Right, this rat attack. I'll leave Umbrian. I mean, I would have used um, Tesla here, but he's unconscious. I know I said I was going to use that revive, but what was the point? Dahlia and Umbra can take on this this team. That's a real. Oh, I can't believe that though. That critical hit. Just when you don't want one. There it is. But that's also how he beat me earlier on. This guy is king of critical hits. I really thought I was just kidding him with that, but it actually is. Talk about Bill. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plodding along behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favour. And he gives you something completely useless, which I've never used and never will use because I don't understand what it does. So, there you go. I mean, I know I'm reading some of his voice and not doing the rest. I, I really just couldn't be bothered. That critical hit has really stunned me a little bit. Anywho, let's go heal up Tesla. And we will get on with this Nugget Bridge challenge. Hopefully we'll do all of Nugget Bridge today and that'll be the end of the episode. And then we'll do Bill next episode. <laughs> we'll do Bill. Uh, we'll go along and see Bill next episode and then the episode after that we'll do Misty. Now that one I did mean. Because <laughs> I mean, come on, it's Misty. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Okay, so let's check the levels here because that has really shook things up. So Tesla and Dahlia are both level 16, Umbra's level 19. Um, we will just keep training Tesla, I guess, because Misty is quite strong. And so, Route 24, Bug Catcher. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you've got what it takes? Yep. Ah, uh, Nugget Bridge. Actually, six trainers, believe it or not. Well, if you've played this game all red, blue, and yellow, you know that there's a six. There's six trainers. Ah, yes, string shot. Staple of the bug type. I just like how every time we fight a bug type, you can just see everything I say coming true. <laughs> well, I suppose it's programmed to use those moves and only those moves, so. Weedle. And we'll send out Dahlia to deal with this. Hopefully, we'll one shot. So, I did post in the uh, description what Sassy Nature did. Raises special defense, slows speed. So, there you go. If you were wondering, now you know, because you read the description in the last episode. <laughs> uh, now we'll leave Dahlia in. I don't want to. I don't want to change anything. It's just a metaphor. And one shot. See, I like how strong Spiro is. That's why it's probably one of my favourite flying types. It's my favourite flying type in the first generation, because... I don't know, I like Pidgeot, I really do. I love Pidgeot. It's awesome, and I haven't had one in a really long time. But, you know, it's just a Pidgeot. Whereas Spearow is, like, offensive and aggressive, and I don't know. I just really like it. Next, number two. I'm second! Now it's serious. And let's fight this lass. Lass Ali. Pidgey. See, this is why I left Tesla out front. 
I actually totally guessed. I assumed she would have something that Tesla was good against, but I didn't actually know. So there's a little confession for you. And good news, my uh, capture device has arrived, so today I will be testing it out, seeing what kind of um, recordings I am able to do with it, and hopefully next week we will be receiving some videos of a different variety. Not Pokemon videos, basically. Something from a console. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I have some ideas. Uh, but you guys will see on next week sometime. I'm not going to put an exact day on it because I don't know whether I'll record something today or whether I'll wait till next week. Or whether I'll try and do something over the weekend. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep plodding on with this as well. Um, you'll keep getting Pokemon videos. I'm hoping daily, but if I do start another series, it might be every other day. And I'll put the other series up in the other days, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, comment and I'll clarify. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Never mind. So, Umbra is taking on a Sand Shrew, who, true to its name, is using a sand-based attack. What a gun. One shot? One shot. I think our team's shaping up pretty well. And I know when we're catching stuff, but we won't be catching anything until... Oh, it's a little while away. It might be a good few episodes before we get a new team member. I might be catching a Meowth or something uh, to learn Flash, because I don't want to teach it to Tesla. Uh, I might just be catching something like as like a, t a, t a HM slave sort of thing. But that's not an official team member, so it won't be going on the layouts or anything. Oh, I forget how much I hate Ekans. I've used it at once. It wasn't great. The uh, It's a bit weak and fragile. You know, it can't take many moves. Even though poison resists quite a few things, there's no call for a full-on poison hide. This, it'll only be helpful in the grass gym, and half of the Pokemon in the grass gym are also half poison types, so it's poison advantage. doesn't even help. That's why if you're going to catch a poison type, you catch a Nidoran, because at least in their final form, they're half ground type, and you get a ground typing for that. Like Nidoking and Earthquake are a perfect combination. Also Nidoking and Horn Drill, but that's one of those moves that you only take if you're one of those people who really likes one-hit KOs. Personally, it's not worth the risk, in my opinion. You've got a 1 in 5 chance of hitting, and, you know, if you miss, you've wasted a move, and they're going to get some real damage on you. Yay. See? Static really comes in handy. Because physical moves can paralyze. But, with, with Pokemon like Nidoran, they've got Poison Point, which is essentially the Poison version of Static. Flame Body is the Burn version of Static, and... Is there a one for sleep? I don't think there is. I wish there was. Effect Spore, I suppose, because Effect Spore can put you to sleep, but it can also paralyze, burn, or poison you. So. I hate fighting someone with Effect Spore, but I like using Effect Spore because it's really quite helpful. But you don't know what you're going to get, and that's the tipping point for some people. Some people don't like it because it's random. You might want them to go to sleep and they get poisoned or they get burned and die when you're trying to catch them. I mean, it's great for battling, but it's terrible if you're trying to catch someone. Uh, to save a bit of time, I'm just going to heal Tesla up with a, super, with a potion and then we don't have to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center and then come all the way back up the bridge as we're getting into the 15 minute mark and I want to finish another bridge. This is number five. Apparently he's going to stop me. I hope he doesn't. I hope we win. To be fair, we are going to win here as a monkey. So I'm going to switch straight into Dahlia. And we'll win with two. Two hits. Monkey, another one of those Pokemon I'm really quite fond of. Just a plain fighting type. Only one evolution into Primeape. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty good. There's no downside to a Primeape. 
it gets a little bit weak later on in game, so... Are you kidding me, Fury Swipes? See, now I can either risk it, I can either fight and use Peck, or I can heal up and hope he doesn't get as many on his next Fury Swipes. Ah, oh, we'll risk it. No, he's faster. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should never rely on anything. Because you should always have a backup plan. Thankfully, Umbre is my backup plan for everything in this, so, you know. I'm still pretty miffed that that just happened. Off him. For fuck's sake. How many critical hits is this monkey gonna get? Did he use focus energy? I didn't see a focus energy. Oh well, never mind. It's quite an angry outburst, but to be fair, that was a bit of a ridiculous situation. Anyway guys, I'm going to pause for a sec, run back to the Pokemon Center, and I'll meet you guys back here to fight the last guy. Okay guys, we're back, and we are right here, next to this guy here, who we are going to talk to for our prize. Congratulations! You beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! And we get a nugget worth five grand. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Uh, essentially, I'm going to beat you up and then you'll want to join us. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Which, of course, it doesn't. It's terrible, terrible, terrible Team Rocket logic. I intimidate. How I hate you. But special attack, not affected by it, so there we go. I'm hoping that no one faints now because I'm really sick of that happening. Random critical hits. If this was a nose lock, we'd, we'd literally have lost by now. Because I have done really badly at this. Keeping track of people, making sure they don't faint. <laughs> Trust me though, in the next one, when I do a Nuzlocke variant, I will be a hell of a lot more steadfast and no one will faint, ever. It'll be a really boring Nuzlocke because no one will faint. And Zubat, which is also a job for Tesla. Undershock. So, um, question of the day today will probably be... What games are you wanting to see on my channel? Uh, I know it's quite a broad question, but with my new recording capabilities, I am wondering what kind of games you guys want to see. But, having beat Nugget Bridge, I'd say that's it for today, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the videos and you want to see more. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel for my new videos starting very soon. And I'm Normo Games. Peace.